Hi, this is Sean from Retell's Coins, and today we just got back our latest submission from CAC. So please stay tuned. Today I'd like to share with you our latest submission from CAC. I think we got close to 20 coins in this submission, so hopefully we get some green beans out of these. So let's see got these back today so i'll make a video and share it with you guys so hopefully we got something good out of here all right before we look so we're going to switch to a closer camera lens and see what we got and get a close-up on these nice coins all right, now that we're on a close-up view, let's take a look at these coins and hopefully we get some good cacks out of this one. All right, the first one is going to be a 1912 S $10 Gold Indian or numismatic terms, a Gold Eagle. So this is the pre-33 gold. This is a 1912S, which is a little bit harder to get um, estimate variety of the Indian $10 Eagles. Very nice luster. Nice gold color to this coin. And this one did cack, and it is an MS-62. When I originally saw this, I thought maybe I can crack it out, send it out, and get it a 3. But I just decided to send it to cack in like I hopefully figured we did get a green sticker on this one it's a very nice ten dollar gold indian next up we have a rare wheat penny this is a 1909 svdb very gorgeous coin very very sharp have you seen in our previous videos You've probably seen this coin before. Very, very nice. One of the highest grade 09S's I've ever got to own. And this one was a 66 Red Brown from NGC. Older style holder, but it did not cack, unfortunately. But very high grade for any collector that's looking for an exceptional 1909S VDB wheat scent. Next up, we have... An 1873 two and a half dollar gold piece with the open three variety, very sharp, beautiful coin, older style PCGS holder, not the green label, but the style before the current one. Very sharp, lustrous coin. And this one did CAC, and it was originally an MS64 coin, so nice upgrade. For this two and a half dollar gold piece. Next, we have an older green holder, PCGS Morgan Dollar. This is a 19040. Very sharp, beautiful coin. As you can see, nice white cut cartwheel luster to it. And this one unfortunately did not cack, but still a nice original beautiful coin for a 19040 Morgan Dollar. Next, we have a 1909 Indian scent. Very beautiful coin. Older style green label holder out of a PCGS. Nice brown luster to this coin. A little bit scratches on the holder, but not on the coin. The coin is very exceptional and very nice. And this one was an MS-65 by PCGS, but unfortunately it did not cack. But still a very beautiful coin. All right, Got some more gold pieces here. Next we have is an 1878 $3 gold piece. Very beautiful coin. I've had this for a while and I thought maybe I could send it to CAC and hopefully get a CAC sticker on it because it is definitely a beautiful coin. As you can see, nice gold luster to a nice cartwheel gold luster. 
And this one was an MS64 $3 gold piece. Unfortunately, it did not CAC, but it's a very gorgeous coin. One thing you realize if you submit stuff to CAC, they're very, very picky on gold coins when it comes to CAC. So when you actually do get a gold, uh, CAC stroke on a gold coin, you know it's a very exceptional piece. Because they are picky about it when it comes to gold pieces. But very nice uh, type gold piece for a $3 Indian princess coin. Next, we have older style type of NGC holder. This is an 1879S Morgan dollar. Very beautiful coin. Nice luster. Hardly any cheek marks on the coin, as you can see. Very, very nice coin. This coin, you know, would have a shot at uh, 66 and if it was cracked out and resubmitted again. But as being as a common date, I figured I'd just send it to CAC, and it did get a CAC green bean sticker. It's a very nice early date Morgan dollar S-Mint coin. Next we have is an 1884 CC Carson City dollar and a PCGS holder. As you can see, nice clean face, nice clean cheek, couple of contact marks on it. The reverse of this coin is very exceptionally very nice. Nice white coin, no toning. So, very nice white CC dollar for those people that like to collect white coins only. And unfortunately, this one did not cack, but it is still an MS65 coin and an exceptional coin for that grade. Next we have is an 1864 two cent piece. This is something I picked up at the um, a a show in Chicago uh, a couple months ago. Very nice coin. Nice little toning with purples and oranges in it, as you can see. Reverse, just as beautiful as the obverse. Nice original toning on this coin. And this one was an MS66 Brown by NGC with a large model variety. And unfortunately, this one did not cack, but it's still a very nice coin. Next we have is a Mercury Dime and an NGC holder. This one, as you can see with the luster, is a proof coin. It's a very nice coin for a 1939 Mercury Dime. And this one did CAC, and it is a proof 67 with that CAC sticker. So very nice hit on this one. Next we have Next we have some commems, older older commems. This is a 1938 New Rochelle out of New York. Very beautiful coin. This was NGC graded. And this one was a 66, but unfortunately without the cack sticker. But still a very beautiful coin. Nice white coin. Nice white luster. And usually on commems, you'll get hazing on it. This one has no hazing, so it's a very beautiful coin. We have another commem. This is a 1933 D Oregon Trail coin. Again, nice white coin. No hazing on this. Very beautiful white luster on it. Very sharp coin. I like the Oregon Trail coin. Very neat scenery. And this one was a 66 from NGC, but this one didn't cack also. But still a very nice old commemorative U.S. half dollar. Next we have is a couple of 1892 O's. This one is from NGC. Both of them from NGC. Nice clean cheek. And I originally saw these two, both one's a 63 and one's a 63 plus, And I was really hesitant of cracking it out. But I said, you know, just send it to CAC and see what they think. I mean, for a 63 and 63 plus, these are definitely exceptional. Only thing I worried about this one is a little etching on the face. But this one did get a CAC green bean on it. So very nice 1892 Morgan dollar. The next one. 1892 old. This one was a 63 plus originally. 
And again, very exceptional coin for a 63 grade. As you can see, <clears throat> both of them, I think, have a shot at 64 if you were to crack them out. Pretty good shot at 64. I mean, the reverses on these are absolutely gorgeous. And again, this front's got a little bit of chatter on the face, but other than that, very nice coin. And this one did also cack. So both the coins did cack, you know, and I was hesitant about cracking them out and try to get fours on them, but I'm happy with the green beans on them. Very nice on New Orleans Mint 1892 Morgan Dollars. All right, that's what I all I have for today. Thank you for joining me. I love doing these CAC upgrade videos. Um, if you want to see more, always like and subscribe to our future videos. We have more to come and future dates. Thank you.